What is up heroes, it's Midnight Zero and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill Blind. In the last episode, we made our way up to the roof and we messed around with these valves. Before we ended the episode though, I was not sure exactly where it was going to drain to. My best guess is that if it went into some sort of gutter, it would empty out into like the courtyard. I don't really want to have to go all the way down there to find out, but that's honestly the best I can think of, so we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do, right? I have actually taken a couple days off from playing the game, so I may be a little bit out of out of sync with the control scheme and all that jazz, but but for the time being, I think it's coming back to me pretty well. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> he says as he gets off at you know the wrong the wrong floor. Gotta retune my senses to be on the lookout for these enemies, which are apparently called gray children. They're symbolic. Pretty neat to know. Alright. Let's head on out here. Oh. Is this just ominous music or an enemy? I feel like if it were to... Yep. Exactly. There's a classroom key. Gotcha. Oh, so you know what? I bet that on the second floor, right? On the second floor, we couldn't get into that classroom, and then we couldn't uh, move beyond that. So I'm pretty sure that's where we need to go. Okay, probably would have little would have been a little bit more efficient if I had figured out that little puzzle earlier on in the game, so that I wouldn't have to be climbing all these stairs, wearing out poor Harry. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not going back up to the roof. <laughs> My apologies. Okay, then I think we unlocked, you know, most of the doors and everything. So we should be able to just run across here. I do forget. Yeah, I was going to say, there was definitely one segment where we left some enemies. And I wasn't sure exactly which ones. Alright, we'll stomp you. Can we stomp this guy? I appreciate that they stay on the ground for a while. You know, it, like it's kind of tough enough to move around with the tank controls as is, but it would just be significantly more of a hassle if, uh, you know, they kept getting back up and, you know, there was that much more, more rush to try to stomp them. All right, so now we are about to head into the, the classroom. Let me check my items and everything. Let me make sure. It seems like it automatically reloads, uh, the gun that is. I wanted to make sure we weren't equipping the shotgun, and instead we had the handgun, handgun equipped. Oh, it didn't automatically reload. Okay. So we're all reloaded. My health is not super hot, but we've got three health drinks, we've got seven first aid kits, and we've got this ampoule, um, which I'm sure I'm mispronouncing. But regardless, uh, I think we're good to go. I was going to say, we're probably not going to be alone in here. Just given... No, other one, other one. Oh, man. All right, we're probably going to have to use um, a health drink at this point. So we're looking pretty healthy. We're going to want to run away first because there are three of them. One, two. All right. No. Oh, that's right. Tank controls. I was like, oh, man. Okay, this, this is not working out as well as I would have liked. But that's okay. Trial and error. No, no, not that one, Harry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're gonna lose so much health and have to use so many health drinks just because Harry's not even aiming at the right one. Okay, stomp that one. Stomps that one. And this one as well. Okay. Darn, I, I really dislike that he doesn't just auto-lock on to whichever one is closest to him. And it's so difficult to tell when you actually, like, switch the aim from one target to the next. Regardless, that's enough complaining. We, we spent two health drinks there, unfortunately. And we're at okay health at the very least. Uh, we have a decent amount of ammo in general, so I'm not too worried, although it's not ideal in order to, you know to be using so much of it. Well, as is expected, can we unlock this door? Okay, so we can at least do that. 
and we'll move on to the next classroom. It's quiet. Much appreciated. Anything of interest on these chairs? On the walls? No. I'm not too surprised. Hey, a health drink! So we'll take that. Enemy? Yep. And a health drink, though. So, I mean, we take those. Oh, it's one of these things. Those things take two hits before they die. Um, is this door unlocked? It is, okay. I just want to make sure that should I be in a chase or in, in a hurry or whatever it may be, I'm able to get wherever I need to go not worry about, you know, locked and unlocked doors. So, similarly, I'm going to unlock that door. And now... Now I guess we can head downstairs? Right? This is the first time we've had access to this stairwell, so we can head down here. We're not going to be able to travel very far. We could unlock... Oh, and we might be able to save at the infirmary on the way down. That would actually be really nice. Enemy? Doesn't seem so. Uh, can we go through this door? We can. That's nice. Then let's do that. Because I would definitely appreciate having the opportunity to save in the infirmary right now. I feel like we're going to get to the boiler room, and that's like the last place we can explore in this section of the game, right? So it leads me to believe we're going to find either some final piece of the puzzle, or some big boss, or whatever it may be down there. I think it's just like typical game design. It's my uh, my gamer's intuition at this point. But regardless, however scary whatever lies ahead may be, we must continue forward. Yikes! Clearly, uh, didn't have the best outcomes. All the people here. Can I? Harry? Camera? Nope. Okay. L two didn't really help me out there. <laughs> um. So there's the storage room, I believe, and then the boiler room. Let's see if we can head into the storage room first. Any items? Is this another one of those really good health drinks? It is an ampoule. Okay, so we've got two of those, and then... Oh, more shotgun shells! Okay, yeah, we're definitely getting close to a big boy fight. <laughs> can I take these other shotgun shells, please? Harry? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we got two more sets of shotgun shells. We got ampule. Yeah, we're definitely coming up on a big boy boss fight. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Yikes. Not looking so hot behind there. And... I guess now it's time to head into the boiler room. Shall we? Why does it look so different? We got the two valves. Turn the valve left or... Oh, turn it right. Or we can stop turning it. We can probably do that with both of them. So presumably I need to open up this pathway, I think. Um, so we'll probably just have to mess around with this a little bit and see how they respond to turning the valves first. So if we turn this valve to the left, what happens? Am I supposed to line them all up, or what? What happens if we turn to the left again? I thought... Wasn't I able to just get past there anyways? Let me take a look at what's going on here. Let me see what happens when I turn this valve. I thought I was going to be bringing the doors like closer together. Or further apart, for that matter. I didn't realize I'd be, like, rotating something like that. And I'm still not exactly sure what I'm aiming to do. Because there weren't any, right, uh, before. There weren't, like, any bars in the way before. So if we turn it left one more time, we should be back to where we started. But as it seems now... 
it looks like no matter what, we're going to end up with at least one spoke in the middle. Um, which is interesting, because there's definitely one, like, fourth, one side of this that doesn't have any. So, one thing that's, I guess, worth noting is we when we turn this one to the left, uh, we give it, like, two full rotations, I guess. Uh, like, 180 degrees. Um, what happens when we turn this one to the left? Are we going to get, like, a 90 degree rotation? Let's see if any spokes... Yeah, exactly. So, the one on the left only turned... Um, 90 degrees, whereas the one on the right turned 180 degrees. And I'm pretty sure just like before, we could... Could we not go across before? Oh man. Oh man. It's boss time. It's boss time. It's totally boss time. Walking into a cutscene and... Whoa. Oh my. So this is the boiler room. There's our, our, our prey getting, getting burnt up. Oh man. And what? That, that is our boss. That is most certainly the boss. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do first is try and bait it into opening its mouth at me. Um, okay. So that didn't really work. Um, I don't have the map for this place. <laughs> Great. So we didn't take a lot of damage, though, which is worth noting. Um, I recall from that book we read that it's probably best to try to get it to open its mouth first, right? And then after doing so, um... When does it open its mouth, though, is the question. It only seems like it maybe is right as it's attacking us. But I figure there would be some sort of, like, build-up to the attack, right? All I can think was maybe if I run behind it... It just put its head through the fire! What's up with that? It's a big boy monster. Um... Is there something we can do with the fire? I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the whole point is that we're supposed to get it to open its mouth and then shoot it while it has its mouth open. But I'm not really seeing a whole lot in this place. Wow, this is dark when you're not close to the fire. Sorry to make you run so much, Harry. Huh? Are we, like, bleeding? How did we lose more health? Is there something, like, over here that I'm just not aware of, or what? Okay. So it, it hit us again. Um, but, like I said, I mean... I'll equip the shotgun, I guess, to give it a go. Like, wait for it, and then as it's approaching us, like, just get ready. Uh, I was maybe a bit too early there. That's all I can really think of. It sounds like it's moving faster now. So it should have ample time to see us ahead of time. Ah, oh, man. There, I don't feel like there's a very clear, like, cue that it's about to attack. We're obviously losing health. Um, we saved just before, so I'm, not, I'm really not too concerned. We've got more than enough healing items. And I don't want to waste shotgun ammo, though. Let's see here. I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's not like we need to get behind it or something. It'll slowly turn around, that's for sure. Do I shoot it from across the fire? Is that what I do? So that it, like, catches on fire or something? That's maybe what I can see happening. Why is it moving all the way over there? It's moving a bit faster now. Does that mean I'm actually damaging it? And I'm just not maybe aware? Let's try equipping the handgun again. Why does my status keep going down? Am I too close to the fire? Nope, don't want to use that. That's what I want to use. OK. 
Okay. Am I too close to, like, the spikes or whatever? I can try running around and around and around again. I don't know. Very confused. Is there something else I can use in my party? The only other thing I can think of is, like, trying to get it to jump into the fire. Uh, other than other weapons, no, I don't really... I don't see anything else. Oh, is the radio? That's actually really cool. Um, oh. I didn't realize it was off. I guess they really want to commit to the, the atmosphere here. Alright, well... Oh, interesting. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought it was just going to do its normal attack. <laughs> that sound effect. I thought it was just going to do its like normal attack and I was like ready for it. Oh, L1, R1 will make Harry do a quick turnaround. That's actually really helpful to know, but I thought it was just going to do its like normal attack. If that makes sense. Um, I didn't realize it was going to do all of that and then I didn't feel amply equipped to quickly run out of its grasp once it already had me. Um, oh, so we're right back in here. It's not going to make us, you know, it probably auto-saved or something like that. Okay, so I think what we're going to want to do is um, shoot this thing a bunch with the, uh, with the handgun to the point that it's like upset or whatever and then tries to attack us by opening its big boy mouth around us and then um... and then after that wait for it to open its mouth and do all that dealio uh... and then while it's opening its mouth, take out the shotgun and, and shoot it with the shotgun a couple times. And it's good to know that that is like an insta-kill move if we get hit by it. Oh darn. Okay, so our handgun is not doing a lot of damage. That was... We've definitely gotten in more than enough shots or attacks on it with the handgun. Uh, Oh, is it doing it now? I think it's doing it now. Alright, open up, open up. Ooh, and the music picks up too. So we're gonna equip the shotgun. We're all loading everything. We're gonna get ready to aim and fire. Oh my. Did I, did I kill it? I got like two shotgun shots in. I can't see anything. It's so dark! What happened? Huh? Hello? I got like two or three shotgun shots in and I think, I think that did it. Is that Cheryl? What are we looking at? Who are you? That's the boiler room. Huh? Did it just show that? Did that was that? Yeah. What was that? Who the hell was that? Where am I? This is a boiler room. What is going on here? Okay, so I can move again and everything. The way that that cutscene went, it made it seem like that lady was actually the monster we just fought. That she somehow turned into that monster. So what key did we get? K. Gordon Key. Okay. The boiler is off. Um, is there anything else we're supposed to do down here? I should probably unequip the uh, shotgun as well so we don't waste that ammo by accident.
valve is tightly shut. Okay. And I, I, I think that would technically... I mean, it looks like we're back in the normal school as well. Right? Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, we're back in what seems like the normal school. We escaped from the, the poltergeist, maybe? So there were the three puzzles, right? It was the the gold or the fist with the gold medallion, then there was like the silver moon and the piano puzzle, and then it was the boiler, right? And so we went to the boiler as our final part, and I think now we're we're good to go, maybe? I don't know. Why is that bell ringing? Is that the clock tower? I hear a a church bell maybe. Who is ringing the bell? Gotcha. Okay, so the game is telling us we can move on to the next station, or the next location. The Balkan Church. Okay, I guess. Um, while we're here, um, we can go into the infirmary, I guess? Right? And save? Because we did a thing? Right? We accomplished a thing? I think we beat the first dungeon, guys. That's that's pretty big. I'm pretty happy about that. Okay. Um, and it looks like it might be light out again. Oh, the lock is jammed. So, what I was curious about was... I don't know if you see on the opposite end of the map right in between the storage and the hall. I didn't try to exit out of the school that way. I am really curious, so I do actually want to go see if I can look there. I don't think that's the intended, like, next place for me to go. Aw, oh, man. I can't go there. Can't check it out now. That's a bummer. I probably am not missing too much, if I'm real. But that's okay. All right, Midwich Elementary School completed. I love this angle. Looks very neat. And now we get to explore this area during the daytime, it seems. Potentially? Possibly? Probably? <laughs> or we got some sort of cutscene, or no, it was just taking a while to load. If I recall correctly, there were quite a few doggos in the area when we first came here. So I am going to be on the ready. However, I will admit I do feel amply more prepared to handle enemies as I encounter them. That said, as I'm in the overworld, I'm really not too bothered with... Uh, why is there... there's still so many markings. Um, there's like a circle over by the X on Elroy Street. I don't think that's something new. We can try to head over to the Balkan Church. Let's head down Bradbury. And we can explore a little bit along the way. I feel like I've got a lot more ammo, um, a better understanding of what's going on, and um, and some a good amount of healing items that I can actually relatively safely explore things. So clearly, we're not meant to go much further beyond here. I do want to, of course, you know, take a little bit of a look around because in the very beginning of the game, right? I was having a tough time because I wasn't exploring as um, thoroughly as I probably should have. It looks like... You doing alright there, Harry? Okay, yeah, you're, you're doing fine. Just a little winded. Gotta get out more. Anything to do with this car? Probably not. Let's head over to the other side of the road because there should be an alleyway. Is this just the corner of the street? Yeah, it is. Okay. There should be an alleyway coming up on our left and I do want to explore it because... I presume we'll find ammo or something else. Is this the ammo or just a... Okay, no. This is this is the alleyway that I had seen on the map. So, here we go, I guess. Yep. We gotta dodge the swoopy swipers, I think. And the doggos. Oh. Okay, camera. Okay, camera. I see you. Anything down this way? Probably not. No? Okay. Anything over there that I missed? No? Okay. Then let's, uh, let's head down over here. Can I do something back here? Ooh. I don't mind. Can we just, uh, take a minute and have a nice, have a nice snack? 
Oh, this is where we first... Ah, uh, I see. This I didn't recognize it because it's not nighttime. But this is where we first came out into this little area, right? Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, I think so. I feel like this is the house we came out of. Right? Possibly? It's kind of, Yeah, it definitely is. It's ringing a bell. What happens... We can we use the K Gordon key? Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe it's not. This is clearly... Wait, no, this is... Hmm. Wait, no, this isn't. Because I remember in the very first house, there was, uh, there was like a bulletin here. And the furniture layout is different. Right? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Regardless, I guess we'll explore around while we have the chance and see what we can find. It looks like there was something over here. What's this red thing? Handgun bullets. Nice. Anything in the fridge? It's empty. Darn. Uh, is there anything else on like the on the stove in the pot there? No. No meals left over for us. This camera angle. Any health drinks on the table? No? Nobody was trying to bulk up? Well, is there anything else of interest in this house? Or is it just kind of like a little hidden area that can provide some ammo or health drinks when you, when you need them? So let's see where we came out. Where are we? Okay, so we're just on Bradbury. Interesting. Well, that's good to know. All right, then I guess the exploration continues, right? Where else? Is there any other place that really sticks out as like a, I need to explore this place? Maybe the little alleyway on, if we, we're going to turn left on Bradbury and then we'll be on the, our left again. We could probably do that and come out on Block Street and then turn right and, you know, the Balkan Church will be on our right again. I feel like that's a pretty good plan of attack. It's not like we need to explore everything the second we're out here. But I do want to explore what we can to an extent, so long as it's convenient. Oh, health drink. And that's the that's the sort of reason why. We might find some ammo, we might find some health drink, you know. Can we go in here? No? Okay. Alright, well, here's our alleyway. Ooh, I'm sensing plenty of static. Lovely. What kind of enemy do we have waiting for us? Is there something over here? Darn swoopy swipers. I don't know what they're actually called. Even if I did, I'd probably still call them swoopy swipers. That's what they'll forever be in this playthrough. <laughs> Poor individuals that are just seeing this game for the first time through through my eyes will never know them as anything other than swoopy swipers either. Can I get this fire hydrant? Not hydrant. Extinguisher. I'm just trying to just trying to explore, Swoopy Swiper. I don't want to deal with your your swiping. Oh, and there's another one? Dang, they're just they just keep coming. Alright, well, we made it out of the alleyway. It really does seem like that's a shortcut and not too much else. How much health do we have? Not a lot. However, we're doing fine on health <laughs> uh, items. We've got these two really strong recovery items. We've got, you know, the first aid kits in addition to the health drinks. And I, honestly, the fact that we have so many of those is pretty reassuring. It's a little bit of a pat on the back for, you know, not getting absolutely obliterated during the first <laughs> dungeon in the school. Granted, I don't think the enemies presented, you know, too much of the difficulty here. But honestly, that's kind of the way I, I like it. That's not really why I'm playing this game. If I wanted to play something for, like, you know, difficulty with taking down enemies, I'd play some high-paced, fast-paced action game or something like that. But, all right. The church. Welcome. First time I've been to church in a long time. Whoa. All right. Get treated to a nice cutscene. 
And there's a a nun. What are you doing here? I thought there were wait a minute, I thought nobody was in this town. Who are you? Were you ringing that bell? I've been expecting you. It was foretold by Gyromancy. Gyromancy? What? What are you talking about? I knew you'd come. <laughs> She's so creepy. You want the girl, right? Cheryl? 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 You're talking about Cheryl. I see everything. You know something? Tell me. Stay back. Nothing is to be gained from floundering about at random. Okay. You must the path. Okay. The path of the hermit concealed by Flowers. What? E English, what are please? What you talking about? <laughs> Here, the Flowers, a cage of peace. Huh? Is this going to be a key to it or what? Through the walls of darkness and counteract the wrath of the underworld. What are you talking about, lady? Make haste to the hospital before it's too late. Ooh, a hospital. Classic horror Wait, environment. don't go yet. Okay, so it looks like we're getting some flowros, which will help us fight off the things of the underworld and lead us the path in the darkness. What is that? And what else is this? A drawbridge key. Okay, anything else we can pick up on here? No? Doesn't seem so. Alright, well, we've got a health drink. So, that's always appreciated. Um, I'm wondering if, you know, like, what, what are the icons in this place? Like, if there's any other imagery that's going to be, you know, just a little bit off, unsettling, right? It all seems pretty dark, but... Oh, and we can save! How nice. I want to explore a little bit of the place first. Do we have a map of the place that'll show us where we're at? Okay, no, not inside the church, just where we are in the town. So it looked like she exited out there, um, but it looks like there are quite a few exits. I wonder if it'll even matter. Regardless, uh, we're going to save here, and honestly, it's going to be a little bit shorter of an episode compared to the previous ones, but we'll continue heading our way towards the hospital in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We finished up the school. I'm really, really proud of, of how that went. Um, I feel like I got through it pretty well. I obviously appreciated the tips you guys provided. I'm pretty happy that I, like, 99% of the way made it to the through the piano puzzle. Just realized I was working with the wrong keys. Um, but no, the, the puzzles in the game are pretty good, and the atmosphere is, is really solid. I do think they do a great job of creating like the creepy vibe and um, the sort of supernaturalness that keeps you guessing whether what you're not or what you're experiencing is like reality or not. And we're getting some bits and pieces of story with like the monster and the flashback to whatever you know girl that was. I'm really not 100% sure how all of this is happening. Obviously, there was that book about, you know, the poltergeist and everything with, you know, intense negative emotions. That could obviously be tied to it. We've obviously got quite a bit of game left to go, though, and I'm sure plenty of those answers will, will come as that time progresses. But, hope you guys are excited. I certainly am. But, until the next episode, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.